Hey everyone, Dallas here at Camosa Cheap Metal. Okay, so for today, we're gonna set some parameters on this machine. We're gonna set how far open the RAM goes, how far down the RAM goes, and then this magic spot in between uh, where the RAM stops so you can line up your piece and then performs a bend in a slower um, rate of descent than when it's from full open. You'll see what I mean in a second, okay? <clears throat> All right, so I do have some tooling in the machine. And you can see, um, I actually put it off of the end here, okay? And the reason I did this is, is it's easier for me to show you what I'm doing on camera so I can go down to the side like that, okay? So that's why that's there. Normally, if I'm gonna bend something, um, it's good practice to go off dead center of the machine, right? If I'm gonna bend a strip, whatever, go dead center. That way you get even bending pressure over the span of the, um, uh, span of the machine, okay? So even though, even though this machine is really big and the upper ram is like super thick, it's a big piece of steel, there's still deflection. So when you bend, um, it'll like put crown in the piece you're bending. So it's good practice to go off dead center if you can. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you gotta go off the end of the machine for return bends and different things. But if you can, always off the dead center. Same thing applies for when you're on a handbrake. All right, same thing applies. Okay, so fairly short and sweet. Um, I have some 16 gauge cold rolled mild steel and I wanna put a 90 degree bend in this. So how do I do that? Okay, well, let's go over to the interface here. Um, we can see there's a few things. There's a high setting, a slow setting and a bend, okay? The high setting is like how far open the machine's gonna go. All right. The slow setting is where this where this punch is gonna stop. In other words, where it's gonna stop right above uh, the die, okay? And then the bend, that's how far down the ram is gonna go. The further down the ram goes, the more bend we put in the material. All right, so I've just calibrated the ram. Let me finish doing that here. Okay, ram's calibrated. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've calibrated the back edge, calibrated the RAM. I'm gonna get out of this mode here. Then I go to six, catalog mode. Okay, and I'm gonna pick one of these programs. There's from zero to 99, and you can save them. So if you had like a particular job or special tooling you were using or whatever, you can set all the parameters that you use for your bends. You can set your bend sequences, like what you use uh, for your back gauge, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna go to zero, zero for this one. Okay, um, we can see that uh, somebody was using the back gauge at the bottom, it's set to 0.5. So if I look in the machine, I can see the back gauge is there. Okay, the two fingers are in the upright position, which we want. And if I hit gauge enable right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. That'll zoom forward to where this person had it set before. If you wanna change it, like if you wanna get that back gauge out of your way, I'll often um, scroll through here, wait till the light's flashing or that 0.5 is, uh, clear it. I don't know, I want it right out of my way. Let's go 24 inches, okay? Uh, to get that to zoom out of the way, right? Cause that's still a half an inch. I'm gonna hit gauge enable. Way it goes. Okay, so it's out of my way, perfect, awesome. Sweet, okay, so now um, I can set how far open I want this. And, that's pretty excessive. That's that's it's probably too far open for what I'm bending. Uh, so I'm going to bring that down, and I'm going to show you how to set where um, where the high point is on the machine. Okay. Notice I'm in jog mode. Jog mode's for setting tooling and roughly kind of getting parameters set before you bend. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down to where I want it. Go to the down side of the pedal. That's probably good there, okay? Then I'm gonna go to high, all right? Look at the high number right now. It was at 3.847, okay? I'm gonna hold that down. I'm gonna press it and hold it. And it's changed my high to 4.331. The greater the number you see here, the greater that number, the further down this ram's going, okay? All right, so that's cool. Then I have this S here, all right? 
that S can mean one of two things. It can mean slow or stop. This machine has something called RAM double stop. I'm gonna engage that. I'm gonna show you what that means. It's another thing called RAM delay. It's on right now. We're gonna talk about RAM delay in a further video, just not right now. I'll take that off. Okay, so RAM double stop on, RAM delay off, still in jog mode. I've set my high. Now I'm gonna set my slow. My slow, um, what that means is, like when this RAM's traveling down from its high point, it travels up a lot faster than when it gets to the slow. When it gets to the slow, it travels about half the speed. So when you're bending your piece, it doesn't come flying up on you, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set where that is. The double stop means that it's gonna stop two times. It's gonna be at the top of its stroke. It's gonna come down and stop to wherever I set it. In this case, it's gonna be right above my material. Then the second stop will be to the very bottom of its stroke, completing the bend. Okay, so right now I'm gonna set this machine using double stop. I want that to stop right above my material. That's good because I need to line up a bend line, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set that, then I'm gonna set my bend make a couple bends this video is done okay so hear me out on this one when I bring this ram down okay I'm gonna bring that down get the camera angle a bit better for you and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down so I have about a quarter of an inch between the underside of the punch and the top side, top leading edge of the die, about a quarter of an inch, okay? Trust me on that one. I'm gonna go over to slow. I'm gonna hold slow. Okay, so now it's set my slow point. I know it's a bit higher, but that's actually gonna come down a bit further. Um, the reason it does that, it's, it's because of all the hydraulic fluid flowing in the machine and friction loss and all kinds of weird stuff we're gonna talk about in a more advanced video kind of more like a third year video rather than a second year video, okay? All right, so that's good. And then what I'm gonna do is I need to set my bend, all right? And I want 90 degrees on my 16 gauge cold rolled. I want 90 on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna bring this ram down. I'm actually gonna switch hands here. And I'm gonna bring that ram down. Let me get a good camera angle. I'm gonna bring it down until on the diagonal, I have about, excuse me, excuse the camera, there we go. Have about a material thickness. Okay, so I have about a material thickness on that diagonal. Maybe it's a little more, there we go, somewhere around there. Okay, about a material thickness. See how I have my piece on that diagonal? That's gonna get me roughly 90. So I'm gonna go over here, now I'm gonna hold bend. We're gonna see my bend number has changed, okay? So to recap, the greater the number, the lower the machine's gonna go, right? So the high is at three, that's that's the, the furthest it's gonna open that I've set it to open. My slow or my stop is at five and then my bend is at six. So again, the greater that number, the, the further down the ram's gonna travel, okay? So that's pretty good. Um, I did this all in jog mode, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to manual. I like to run the machine in manual because the machine, if we want accurate bends, we want to run this in a cycle. Meaning when I hit this pedal, when I press down, the ram's going to go all the way back to the top. Watch. Put in there. Okay. That's the top of its stroke. That right now is at the, excuse me, my square's in the way. That's at the 3.847. Okay. 874, excuse me. The next one will be the slow or the double stop. Remember, double stop's on. Bring that down. Okay, and if we look, remember I had that quarter inch gap? Well, now it's right above my material. See how I have like, I don't know, maybe you can see some light coming through there. I have maybe a 30 second between the underside of the punch and now the top side of my, my of my material. If I had a bend line on here, I could go and I could line that up with the punch really easily, okay? All right, that's good, that's good. So then we notice here that the RAM double stop light is flashing. That means it's hit the double stop. 
if I go to the foot pedal and I press up, that light still flashes. So it's not gonna double stop again, even though I've opened up the ram. If I press the down pedal again, it's not gonna stop a second time. It's actually gonna go all the way through to the bottom of its stroke, okay? How this should be operated, foot goes into the downside, okay? I press my foot to the floor, it stops. I can actually take my foot out right now and go and get a piece and line it up or whatever. Then after that, foot back in, straight to the ground, finishes the bend, back to the top of the stroke when I take my foot off the pedal. That cycle is what's gonna give you really good accuracy on the Accur press. Accuracy, Accur press. Okay, whoa, calm down, Dallas. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my piece in. I don't have a bend line on here because this is just a sample piece. Always go get a sample piece, okay? Get a piece of scrap, dial in the machine before you go bend your good project. I do this all the time, constantly in industry, I'm still doing this, okay? A piece goes into the machine. I'm gonna bring that down. There's that double stop. There's the light flashing. Now I'm gonna bury my foot all the way to the ground complete my bend, okay? I'm gonna grab my square. I'm gonna bring you over to this bench. I'm gonna put this down, okay? And we're gonna check it for 90 degrees. It's a little bit under by about three or four degrees. It is under 90. I don't know if you can see that well. There you go, that's under. So how do we get that to 90? Well, it's easy. Remember the bend, okay? This bend right here, hit the bend button, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add numbers. See, it's at, at seven right now, the seven's flashing. I'm gonna press the plus, eight, nine, 10, and I'm gonna give it about one, two, three, four, five. So I gave it five, I gave it eight numbers. Now, these numbers are fairly arbitrary. Some people think, oh, one number is one degree. It really depends on a lot of things. Tooling selection, material type, length of material, tonnage used. So. So don't really trust that one number is one degree. It doesn't really work out like that. Okay, it's about sometimes about every five is about a degree. So just go slow, add five at a time and see what you get. If it's bending too much, take some away. All right, so now I'm gonna go take my piece again. Actually, let's, let's get a new piece. Why not? Lots of scrap. Put that one in, bring the ram down. Okay, so foot all the way in the pedal on the downside, straight to the ground. Okay, that's the double stop. I know because the light's flashing. Okay, foot still in the foot pedal, press all the way to the ground, bend my piece. Grab it, foot off the pedal. All right, looks like maybe I'm a degree or two over this time. I'll put my square on it. I want you to notice something before I do that. Notice how never once I ever actually hit the upside. I only use the downside. That's how we want to cycle the machine. If you go back up, you're going to get discrepancies in your bend angles, okay? I'm going to prove that point in a second. We're going to check this one for 90. Let's have a look here. So I'm maybe half a degree over. I might go, let's just do it. We'll do it together. Go to the bend again. I'm gonna to go to the minus now. I put too much there. I'm gonna go one, two, maybe three. Okay. Come over to the machine. Uh, new piece, sure, new piece. Why not? I got a couple extra. Okay, so again, foot in the pedal. Double stop, straight to the ground. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's put that onto my square and we can see I'm pretty much right on the money. So I'm happy with that. We got a 90, sweet. So last thing, last thing, super important. I see people and I've had people argue with me that this is fake and it's not real, okay? If you use only jog mode, okay? And or, I'm put that back to manual, and or jog the down pedal down. What I mean is like, do this. What's going to happen is because I'm starting and stopping and starting and stopping, it drastically changes 
the position of the ram. So notice how I had that 30 second gap. I'm back to like three eighths of an inch in there. Okay, so what that means is if that has stopped higher, it's gonna not go down as far when I bend, which means that I'm not gonna get a 90. Does that make sense? And the reason is, wait the stroke. The reason is in this box is a hydraulic pump that is pumping hydraulic fluid through these hoses into these hydraulic ramps, okay? And when you start it and stop it and start it and stop it, you have inconsistencies in hydraulic pressure, okay? So what's happening is in, in this pump, there's hydraulic fluid, okay? It's got a, about a medium viscosity, like the thickness of the fluid. And as it flows through all these hoses and all these ramps and does all this stuff, um, we get friction loss inside of all all the all the parts and comp uh, components and inconsistent pressures so if you operate the machine jogging it down like that as you just saw you're going to get uh discrepancies and inconsistencies in your bench it should be a cycle all the way down line up your mark down to the floor back up to the top okay you should never with this method unless it's an emergency have to press up here or ram up there that makes sense I hope so. What am I missing? Not too much. Um, I'm gonna make a few more videos on, on this machine, get and do a little more of the advanced stuff, show you how to set the back gauge and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay, bye.